Yeah, this is way, way better. This will work. Let's just try. Oh. There are 20 words to describe chest pain. Burning, squeezing, stabbing, tearing. Each one diagnostically useful. For that, you have to thank Dr. Powell's textbook. But there are no words to describe degrees of what he's feeling right now. Shortness of breath. If he had worked on those issues, there would be. So he never would have given up until he had an answer. This isn't working. Dr. House. Please don't get up. I'm sure you're very busy. So I'm just gonna try and speed things up a little. Is that happy? That's not the protocol. No, the protocol is what you tried to do and failed each time. Up over a hundred. Now we're getting somewhere. How's it look, Foreman? No EKG changes. <laughs> push harder. House, you're gonna kill him. No, he's right. Let him, let him do it. See? That's why he doesn't have to wear knee socks. He can't breathe. <laughs> And 30. A magic number. Nothing here. Foreman? Still no sign of blockages. Which means it's not the heart. So it must be the lungs. See, it wasn't so hard, was it? No, just give me the rest of the epinephrine. The test is over. It's okay. We're going to stabilize you. No! No, just let me die. You're not going to die. Yes. I am. We'll find a treatment. I don't want to live like this. Please. I'm begging you. Kill me. What happened? I don't know. He must have fallen out of bed and got the mazel cannula wrapped around his neck somehow. Ezra, what are you doing? I don't want to live hooked to machines too weak, too weak to wipe my own ass. Why would you want to wipe your own ass when you could have someone do it for you? You're wasting your time. There must be other patients you could actually help. No, all services rendered on a first-come, first-served basis. I won't consent to any more tests. And if anyone tries to so much as touch me, I'll press charges for assault. Okay, you heard the man. He wants everyone to leave him alone. Why don't you go first? Get out! You came to me. I didn't come to you. I figured you'd have the guts to do what had to be done if it came to that. We're nowhere near that. It's time to test your lungs. <laughs> Breathe. Have to exhale sometime. Stop. Stop. You're hurting him. You're hurting me. <laughs> Fine. You don't help us, we don't help you. Your lungs slowly fill with fluid. You gasp to catch every breath, but never can. Every breath is petrifying. It'll be slow, painful, torturous. We don't choose our birth, and we don't choose our death. What if you could? How about we make a deal? Give me one more day. I don't find out exactly what's wrong with you by then. I'll help you die. House. 24 hours. Come on, it's not gonna kill you. Since I took an anatomy class, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you're moving farther and farther away from my lungs, running out of places to look, aren't you? Doesn't mean we're gonna stop looking. Oh, no! Now for six more hours. You want us to fail? No. But you will. No abnormal nuclei means no leukemia. He a drinker? Not according to the history. Which means, yes, he drinks, which gives us a nice mundane explanation for the acellularity. Or he's telling the truth, which means fungus is still on the table. But your entire view of human nature gets destroyed. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. 
Bad news fast. Good news, you can take your time. Head's clean. You were wrong. His faculties are intact. Too bad. If his brain was addled, we wouldn't have to listen to anything he says. Hand me the 10% KOH. It's 4 o'clock. We have nothing to tell him. Then we have no reason to talk to him. We still haven't ruled out fungus. Yep, we have. No buds, no hyphae. <sighs> okay. Next procedure. We sneak in, turn back the clock. Whole team. Must be bad news. Nope. Bone marrow biopsy revealed multiple myeloma. It's not good news, but there are some treatments. We need to draw some blood. What about my breathing? Associated hyperviscosity syndrome gummed up the blood vessels in your lungs. Dr. Chase said my calcium is normal. We call him Dr. Idiot. There's no M protein in my urine. Odd presentation. So odd that Dr. Cameron doesn't, doesn't believe it either. Just give me 12 more hours. We had a deal. No more tests. Fair enough. Give me six more hours. Listen, there is no evidence that you are terminal. You a man of your word or not? No, as a matter of fact, I'm not. Fine. Then discharge me. My lungs will slowly fill with fluid. I'll gasp to catch every breath, but never can. Every breath will be petrifying. It'll be slow, painful, torturous. You're really going to let me die like that? Where are you going? Nowhere. Everybody who can walk should get out of here. You can't do that. Can't do what? Administer a prescription painkiller to a patient who's in pain? Go. Make sure somebody sees you downstairs in the cafeteria. I can't let you do this. Either I die in pain or I just die. That's what the, the argument is here. No, it's about whether you die or we murder you. What's going to happen here is that someone's getting a buttload of morphine. I'm not sure exactly who at this point. What was on the other side? Nothing. down the list of murder. He's on 
unconscious. No more whining. Keep testing him. Go get a ventilator. I'm gonna do this all night.